but it's another major step in getting the lead out. AOPA has begun coalescing aviation stakeholders to assure a safe transition to an unleaded avgas. And already, major players from aircraft manufacturers to aviation associations to type clubs to fuel refiners have joined. That's right. It's all about ensuring a quick, safe transition to an unleaded avgas that will work in all piston aircraft. This issue, which is kind of uh, emanated out of uh, Santa Clara County, Redeal View, and, and South, uh, South County, San Martin, where the airport has decided not to sell 100 low lead because of their concerns about the low lead activity. Uh, ingredient in that fuel, which we've been using for 70 years, um, is one that we don't like the idea that the airports are um, taking it among themselves to stop selling avgas because we know there's a lot of risk around selling uh, the wrong avgas or putting the wrong avgas in the wrong aircraft could cause detonation and a real safety issue. So we think it's important to pull the industry together and say, we agree that there's a need for a change. Uh, we agree that there's going to be a timeline established. We've been working on it for years and found the right solution. But we really don't want to get ahead of ourselves here where we have a bigger safety issue right now if we stop selling our gas in some of these local markets. That's right. It's been a long simmering issue. The aviation industry has been searching for more than 20 years to find a way to create 100 octane avgas without adding tetraethyl lead to the mix. It was simple would have been done, clearly. All of us agree if it was simple, we would have moved on. It's very difficult because you've got a lot of the uh, legacy airplanes and materials. Uh, you've got a lot of legacy engines out there. Um, yet, we've got to find that solution that does the best it can possibly do while eliminating even low lead. It's true that many lower horsepower GA aircraft can fly on less than 100 octane gas, but, and this is huge, most of the avgas consumed, about 70 to 80%, is by airplanes with high compression engines that must have 100 octane, or they will tear themselves apart from detonation. This is a tremendously complex issue, and to help you understand it and to stay up with the latest news, we just started this website. The URL is there on your screen. There's a good story there, which gives you a background on where we've been and where we're going. We don't want to be on the side of defending lead. We want to be on the side of saying, let's move forward. Right. We're committed as, a, as an industry, as a, as a user group at AOPA, to say it's time to move on. Let's just find a safe smart alternative and work on that transition plan, whatever that looks like. So there you have it, Alyssa, a very complex issue for sure, and one uh, that we're working hard on uh, and hope to have some solutions uh, relatively quickly. That's right, definitely a complex situation, and it's great we have that website up. Keep everybody up to date on this all-important thing. It's what makes our aircraft run.